Hi, got my army t-shirt on and in this episode I'm going to show you how you can create military style coordinate systems for your maps. For this I'm just going to use a simple uh, WMTS service as a background map, but the background map is not important. It's the layout. So I'm going to start a new print composer. Let's call it map for simplicity's sake. And let's add a map. Like that. So most military maps uh, as a standard has one in 50,000 or one in 100,000 scale. And for my map, I'm going to use 50,000. But just typing it here, it's easy to for that to change by changing and resizing the data frame. So instead, I edit the value to 50,000. And then it will always be 50,000, no matter what I do with the data frame. So that's a little tip. Uh, then I need a grid. So go to grids. And first of all, I need a one kilometer grid. And let's call that UTM one kilometer. Should be a solid grid. thousand meters interval uh, and then I could use a frame but I really don't fancy this frame that much but let's go for exterior ticks anyway I need to add this frame also let's go back and make the ticks a bit smaller Maybe like that. Like that. Okay. Then I need to uh, draw the coordinates. As a default, it takes uh, the entire coordinate with decimals. Uh, so I'll quickly skip to custom and edit it. Uh, for a military style map, it's just the kilometer numbers that are interesting. So that, if that is the only thing we want, you can do that by uh, uh, expression. So if I explain what I just did here. Uh, grid number, that is the variable that holds the coordinate for the grid line. And uh, the value here, I take first the five rightmost uh, numbers, and then I take the two leftmost numbers of that, and that will give me the kilometer numbers as a whole, like that. However, I would like to have uh, a bit more numbers for some of them. So let's add a text label here and increase the font so you can see it perhaps. Center it like that and create an expression. Uh, to do this, I need some extra functions. And uh, the functions I use, I will have links in the description below, uh, so you can uh, download them yourselves. And you need to place them inside, let's see, uh, I 
if I can find my file. You will, in your home folder, have a hidden folder um, called QGIS2. And in that one you will have a Python folder and an expressions folder. And this is where you are supposed to download and store the functions. Uh, I won't go into the uh, contents of the files too much, but one of them is by Alexander Nito uh, and it creates uh, it finds the max and min uh, coordinates for a map in your layout and the other one let's see where is it uh, I've created myself And it, um, well, essentially, it, it, it creates index numbers for your coordinates and it adds MGRS support. But I'll get back to that a bit later on. So, to start with, we have a fake grid number here. One, two, three, four, five, six. That could be... Uh, number like before and if I use the previous formula left right 5 2 you get the 2 and 3 and that is what I want but I for some letters I would like to have more than just the kilometer numbers so, I have created a few UTM functions. And for instance, the short one. It does exactly what I did previously with the left right. Just creates a 23. And I have a long one. And that creates indexed numbers for the rest of the uh, numbers. Uh, and, and that works by using Unicode. So the font you use really need to be able to handle Unicode. If you don't see those letters like they are here, you uh, need to change the font. And then the last one is index. And that only takes the higher numbers and create index of those. So for my map, I would like the zeros and uh, tens and twenty to have index like this and the rest like they are. So for that, I go back to my coordinates and I start by creating an if statement. And if left right grid grid number four one equals zero. If that is true, if it is a zero, it should be the short one. No, it should be the index one. UTM index of grid number. And it, if, if it isn't a zero, it should be a short one. UTM short grid number. Like that. So if essentially the fourth number from the right is a zero then use the index and else just the short number like that now we see we have an index number for the zero and the zero 
and if I pan the map to 10, you see an index number again. Down at 90, there's an index number. But let's stay around this zero. So, uh, I can also use these functions to create a corner label. So let's zoom into the corner uh, and create a label. So I want to have a UTM long for my number, like that. Let's just style that a bit, place it in the corner, there, but uh, I need to uh, uh, fetch the x coordinate for the corner in the lower left here, and uh, that is where Alexander Nito's uh, expressions come, a, come in handy. So, this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 should not be used. Instead, I need to use his functions, and they are under Python map x min. And that takes two variables. First, the name of the layout, and that is in my case map. And then the index number of the map, uh, the map element. And since I only have one, that's zero. Like that. And there we have the corner, the leftmost corner uh, coordinate for the map frame. Could actually create a small frame like that. No pen, black. Ah, good enough. I'll just copy and paste that one to the y-axis and rotate it 270 degrees uh, and what I need to change now is the, from x to y min That's good enough. Uh, and these numbers will update when I uh, move around the map. Uh, maybe not immediately, but uh, uh, when you print it or export the map, they will be updated. And sometimes it depends on how you are zoomed in on the map as well. Anyway, they should be updated uh, Okay Now over to MGRS uh, That is a military uh, grid reference system, MGRS uh, And that's a way to simplify reporting positions on a map And that is based on a lettering system uh, that gives uh, two letters as a name for each 100 kilometer big uh, square. And that system can be uh, calculated from uh, a few values from the coordinate. And uh, those letters will replace the index numbers in the coordinates. For instance, this 4 
and this 65. Uh, so first I need to divide the map so I know where the borders or the boundaries between these MGRS uh, letters are. Let's call that MGRS. And that is 100 kilometers. And let's make that line a bit bigger. Like that, so we can see it. Uh, that's all I need for that grid. <coughs> then I need to place labels. So, for instance, let's say we have an MGRS letters A, B. Uh, I want them to follow the map and be placed on either side of the boundary. So, if this is A, B, then this should be BB. Uh, and the, how the system, MGRS system works, uh, I won't go into that here. But anyway, so I want that to follow the grid when I pan and move the map. And uh, that means I need to create a grid for it. And I want it to be placed between those numbers. And I can do that with a bit of tweaking. So let's start by creating a new grid. Uh, let's start with the lettering for this area on the upper left. Call it MGRS upper left. The grid should be uh, spaced at 100 kilometers, but it should be offset so it is short of this number and prone of this number here. So for x I offset it uh, minus 500, but I can't put in minus, so I need to do it like 99,500. Then it the line will show up here. And for the Y I can do 500. So from this X here in the upper left I have created a new cross. Uh, I won't be using the lines later on but I'll keep it for now. I need to draw coordinates but I want letters, not numbers. So let's go to custom and for now I'm just putting in A, B because I want to... oops... A, B I want to style it a bit bigger I think 14 will be good like that, yep, that's fine. And move the label away. Okay. Uh, so now I need to use one of my own functions, and that is MGRS bigram. Uh, it uh, uses the UTM coordinates in easting and northing plus the number for the UTM zone and it calculates the uh, MGRS bigram or letters for the, the coordinate. So I'll use MGRS bigram then I need the easting and that is the coordinate line for this one grid number and I need a northing and that is the extent of the map 
frame, so I use Alexandra's function map y max for my map layout map index 0 and it should be in the OTM zone 33 like that okay however now it disappeared here and that is because I need to differentiate if the label is placed on the x-axis or on the y-axis so I need an if statement if grid axis equals x then I should uh, print that letter those letters otherwise I should look to the y-axis mgrs by gram and for the easting I use the minimum x extent so the map x min for my map layout map index 0 and the northing should be the grid number at grid number and it's still UTM zone 33 and close off the if statement okay we have uniform foxtrot in the upper left uh, however I have letters here and uh, those I don't want but those are easy to remove to the right disable and bottom disable like that and now I can also remove the lines so for grid type I choose only frame and annotations okay now I need to repeat this for the upper right mgrs upper right it should be frame and annotations only 100 kilometers the offset for x here should be 500 to the right and it should be above the, uh, the axis 500 so plus in both cases draw coordinates and we should only show them on the top right so left disabled and bottom disabled let's set the font right away as well 14 and custom format use the recent and this time it should be y max that's okay and x max since I'm interested in this side of the map okay uniform fox victor fox and once again mgrs lower left One hundred kilometers, and since we are down here, I need to plus five hundred and minus five hundred for y. So x five hundred and ninety nine five hundred for y. Draw coordinates, and I can remove it from the left and remove it from the top should be 14 okay and custom use the recent and this time it's y min since it's the bottom of the map x max still 
like that. Victor Echo. And the final one. MGRS lower I can't differentiate between left and right obviously. The previous one was lower right. So the lower left frame and annotations only 100 kilometers and this time it should be minus 500 for both so I need to put in 99 500 like that draw coordinates and hide them from the right and from the Select the font and make the custom label from the recent. And this time it's Y min and X min. Min. Okay. There we go. And as I pan the map around, everything will be updated. Uh, MGRS format uh, also use uh, a code for the UTM zone or as it is called the grid zone designator and I also have a function for that uh, so let's pick a coordinate map x min map 0 and easting ln northing map y min map 0 and zone 33. This should be a function of MGRS grid zone designator. There we go. Like that. So here we have the basics for a military styled map. Uh, well, the map isn't the style, the, the coordinates are the style. Um, let me just put a square around this. Uh, now you can add as much bells and whistles as you want for your map. But by using the custom functions I've showed you here, you can absolutely create uh, grids of a military style for your maps. One issue though, uh, there is a problem when you get to the boundary to the next UTM zone. Uh, there is no good way to uh, handle this in QGIS. So, but as long as you stay wi completely within one UTM zone, uh, there is absolutely no problem. Uh, sadly enough for uh, Sweden, for instance, um, Stockholm is exactly on one UTM zone. Malmö and Gothenburg is on the other. Oh, not really Malmö, but Gothenburg is on the other. So uh, we, we have a bit of a problem when we want to create uh, maps over a new TM zone in Sweden. Uh, but as I said, uh, as long as you stay within the zone, this is a one way to create military-styled maps in QGIS. See you next time!